What is up guys, Mike Zemimu here, welcome to my YouTube channel, and most of all, welcome to the third playthrough, the playthrough belly of Gothic 3. Um, I am a bit grumpy, so uh, be aware, because my money is still not on the fucking bank, and uh, that means it's not going to be stored, uh, stored it today most likely, and if it does, it's going to be after 9pm when the fucking stores are closed. So I have to skip another fucking day with fucking meal as fucking always, you know. I'm getting sick and fucking tired of those useless banks that mankind has. But uh, I can rage all I want about it, but uh, fuck it. It's not gonna be the first, and it's most definitely not gonna be the last. Wait a moment. I've never seen you here. Don't tell me you slipped through the lines of the orcs. But, uh, it is what it is, you know. It pisses me off that I have to skip another day of food. But, um, uh, I'll manage. You know, I'm a survivor. I can handle the, the, these kinds of things. That's a big mouth you've got there. Really? Do you think I'm afraid of you, huh? If you won't work, I'll make you. You will report to Merrick, the leader of the Orc mercenaries in Montera, within three days, or you're in trouble, got it? How do I get to Montera? If you take the path up to the north, you'll get there faster. But you're sure to be attacked by bandits. The path to the west is better for you. It's longer, but not so dangerous. I see. Show me your goods. I don't think I have much to sell, but every little bit helps. Now normally I would, you know, try to get through the lines of bandits, at least I wanted to in this particular playthrough. But um, I don't think that will be um, possible due to the fact that I have... No healing potions, I have a little amount of food and healing supplies, so just like my other three, uh, other two paths, I would just take the safe road towards Montara, which is actually not entirely a safe road, but whatever. There will still be uh, mobs that I will encounter. Lurkers, mostly, bloodflies and uh, all these nonsense animals. As well as the uh, one of the uh, druids. Now make sure to uh, loot those uh, those stone roots because you will need them in order to repair the uh, druid stone of the boar, also known as uh, the druid stone of the ripper beast. At least I think it was the ripper beast. I'm not quite sure. How are those miss? Now it's too bad that these lurkers don't have any loot unless you learn. Which is uh, one of the things that I'll get very late game on with this character when it comes to hunting and whatnot. Sure I will need it, you know, at some point for uh, shadow beast horns as well as some wolf skins and whatnot, but 
there will be plenty of animals to get those from. The majority is getting my strength 300 ASAP as well as uh, getting my magical capabilities. But yes, I'm a bit grumpy, but uh, you know, I'll survive uh, the uh, day. I always have and always will. Which is, uh, you could say, a positive side of being uh, being half homeless for uh, a bit of time. You know, you can uh, handle uh, no food for couple of days I don't recommend it you know it's not something that uh, I highly recommend it's not really healthy to skip a food but uh, sometimes you just gotta survive and uh, if there is no cash which is a lame you know um, it's really really freaking annoying that I just can't get what I need you know due to the lack of money but then again even if you're rich you will have lack of money. So, you know, it's it's frustrating indeed that it is that I have to skip another day of fo without food. But, uh, you know, like I said, uh, it's not the first time and most certainly not uh, the last. And you could say, you know, that uh, I spend my money a bit too much when it comes to uh, purchasing nonsense, you know. But, um, uh, in the end, I always survive. I have survived with little, I have survived with nothing, and, and you know, so I'll be most definitely be alright right now. Sure, it's annoying. Yes, I'm hungry, but uh, it's not something that I cannot defeat. You know, sometimes I think by myself, you know, it's better just to f search for the job, I suppose, because of the fact that it earns more. But, uh, you know, in the end, I'm not doing this uh, because of the fact that it makes me rich, because it doesn't, at least, not yet. But due to the fact that it's something that I want to do, major difference. I'd rather have a job, you know, where I earn a less in overall, but uh, enjoyable job like this, than having a shitty ass job with a shitty ass boss that thinks he's the master, I thinks he's the boss, and uh, get paid well. Because in the end, you know, whether you make 1500 euros a month, or 1000 euros a month, or 2000, 3000, 4000, 5000, 10,000, we as species always want more. And the more we have, the more we want. And uh, that is something that I'm not trying to, you know, that I'm not denying, if you will. But it is indeed something that I'm trying to avoid because in the end, yes, all of these videos, you know, might not make me as rich as, let's say, PewDiePie with his uh, 60 million subs, maybe even more at the moment. But uh, in the end, it's not about being rich. In the end, why I'm doing this is to break it open, not only for myself. And not only for you, 
but for the generations that will come after us because we need more jobs we need way more jobs and uh, these companies sure they hire a lot of people you know don't get me wrong but they also tax uh, dodge a lot of taxes and uh, we pay those taxes because they don't you know I'm just saying so I'd rather have a, a job that uh, pays little to none than having a job that pays so fucking well but uh, you are scamming people you know You could say that I'd rather earn 500 euros with this a month, even though 500 euros is not enough to survive on, um, especially not here in the Netherlands, because of the fact that everything is so fucking expensive, stores are closing all over the fucking place, and people having money issues, but I'd rather have I earn 500 euros with this and work 80 to 120 hours a week, then earn 1500 euros for 40 hours a week. And you know, some people might say, you know, you're either lying or you're just an ignorant fool. But I say to both, uh, that is not the case. Yes, more money is always nice and that will never change. But uh, the more money you have, like I said, the more that you want. And I'd rather have just barely to get enough, you know, to get around. Am I happy with the 1k that I get from the government? Well, not quite. You know, it's like I said, it's not enough. 90% um, of my monthly cash, about 90% goes to my debts, which have been tripled, if not tripled, well, doubled, if not tripled due to a having an accountant that ran away with about 5k can you sue them of course you can't because they are employed by the government and even they don't seem to give a shit when accountants run away with people's money and uh you know i tried to get them to sue them but you know why why should i try and increase my debt even higher by hiring a lawyer in a case that I'm going to lose anyways despite the fact that a government uh, accountant ran away with 5,000 of my money as well as the fact that he doubled if not tripled my debts you know currently I have a relatively good accountant but um you know it's not that I'm living in luxury if you will I live by a day-to-day -day basis and uh which is really annoying you know i'd rather do groceries once a month than seven days seven times a day a week because of the fact that's currently how i live i live to day-to-day -day basis um i don't cook because it's too expensive as well as the fact that you know i'm not the man that likes to cook I'm not a cook, if you will, um, but I eat quite a little amount of food, I drink quite a lot, I must admit that, not alcohol, don't get me wrong on that one, but uh, liquid in general, you know, I never drink alcohol, uh, the only reason, or the only place where I actually would drink alcohol is uh, on parties and what have you, but even then, at its limits due to the fact that my father was an alcoholic and I'm not gonna follow his footsteps but uh, I live to day to day basis and uh, that makes things a bit more expensive because of the fact that if you can do shopping for an entire month let's say or an entire week then you know you get more discount if you purchase it right because you know certain stores have discounts on certain products and what have you um, I currently don't do that due to the fact that if I get it for the entire week 
it would be gone in about two to three days and that's why I live literally to day to day basis and go to the store every single day to get my food because of the fact that if I do not then well uh, I will be without food for more than two days even though I get 70 euros a week now 70 euros a week is more than some people mates, two mates might get about 40 30 to 40 euros a week but you know I am not that well provisioned if you will and, uh, and let's not forget the fact that my current room got uh, re-rented couldn't sue them either even though I wanted to because again it would make things a bit more expensive as well as the fact that you cannot win those cases anyway so why would you sue them and does the government do anything about it nope the evidence is in their possessions but yet they ignore it because it's one person you know um, and I know that you know shit happens but it's kind of lame you know that you can get scammed by people under the government especially accountants and then you cannot sue their asses or make sure that they are fired you know as I like to call it because they don't the governments honestly don't give a shit the, even the government scammed me multiple times through a multiple um, you know companies if you will that are supposed to help you but of course they didn't help me no they increased my debt by twice to triple um, you know it's a long story but uh, I don't trust the governments one single bit and there's nothing that the governments can do to make me trust them at all you know even if they would give me 5,000 euro a month I would still not trust them every accountant even the accountant that I have today it's a good accountant don't get me wrong about that one but still I don't trust him 100% why because I got scammed multiple times and I'm sick and tired of being scammed by the fucking governments you know and uh, therefore people are a bit confused due to the fact that I'm doing YouTube you know they say you know you can better go to work get a job you earn more yeah sure sure I will earn more and then I have to pay more to my debts and uh, I in decrease my living circumstances because now I can do whatever the fuck I want if I have to go to work then I can't yes I earn more only about 500 euros more still it's more but you know but that will not change the fact that thanks to the government my debt of 10k went to a debt of 20 to 30k now I'm not entirely sure how much it is um, it was at least 20 and currently I still have to pay off 12k if not more um, but you know I'm sick and tired of the government's pretending to be the nice guys when they're certainly not because every government takes money from ill-gotten people like George Soros and uh, top priority people with lots of money you know and uh, the governments are a bit racist don't get me wrong but they certainly are because uh, if you're not from the Netherlands then you get everything that you need paycheck housing everything but of course if you're a Dutch citizen then well you gotta figure it out on yourself the only reason why I got my paycheck is due to the fact that I became homeless I got kicked out my out of my mother's house by my older sister as well as the fact that I got backstabbed by my family my 90% 90% of the family I got backstabbed by you know um, and I, I just don't trust anyone you know friends foes enemies governments I don't trust any of them due to the fact of my experiences and as well as the fact that I've been scammed multiple times the first scam that I had was of course because of my idiotic my idiocy 
of falling for a trap that was obviously a trap. But, you know, and that's why I came into that in the first place. But then I sought, you know, sought searching for help from uh, a company called Iris Care, which is, you know, a, a company that helps people with money problems, drug problems, alcohol problems, you name it, you know. And you have accountants there. They scammed me. And uh, the accountant ran away with 5,000 of my money, bought a car of that money. Yes, yes, bought the car. And I can't sue them. So I'm currently in the situation where I think, you know, why should I work my ass off if my paychecks, sure, I can save up money and I earn more, but in the end, if war erupts, goodbye money, you know, I'm just saying. So uh, I'm gonna take advantage, if you will, of the situation and I'm gonna push YouTube as much as I can until the idiotic government says, hey, you gotta work. Is it a small, cho uh, a smart choice to do this instead of getting a normal job? No, it isn't. Especially since the fact that I'm not getting paid. But uh, in the end, the growth that I can have on YouTube is by far better than any company in the fucking world. And like I said earlier, you know, I'm not literally doing this for myself. I'm doing this for the generations to come in order to break YouTube open as it was in the beginning where people getting paid because I'm not getting paid. You know, I'm getting 0, 0.00000 euro out of this because of the fact that I don't have 1000 subs. I don't have 4K hours watch time a year. Which is all a fine and dandy, you know. I understand those rules were put up because of a reason. But YouTube makes quite a bit of money on my YouTube channel. And if not now, then at least in the future. But, you know, I'm talking too much again about nonsense. Like my personal issues and what have you. There's nothing in this world that can, you know, stray me from YouTube. There's nothing in this world that can convince me that gaming is not a way to make a living. Because I know it is. And if you just look at YouTube, everybody knows that it is. And it is about time that this is being broken open. And if that means that if I do ever get big and I have to cut a share in order to get multiple people, in order to be able to do that, then I am willing to make that cut. Even if it means going from 5k a month to 1k a month, because honestly, money is fucking meaningless. Who are you? I'm a ranger and a martial arts instructor. My name is Ericus. I'm a personal guard of the Druid Corgan. So think before acting. Understood? There's only one reason why we need money. And that's to eat, to survive, and to clothe ourselves, put a house above our heads, and what have you. But then all in the all, you know, money is worthless. So if I ever become big enough, I'm gonna tear this right open for you, for me, and for everybody that wants it. Because even if you break it open, not everybody is willing to sit eight to 16 hours a day behind a PC doing nothing else than recording games or vlogging or what have you. Not everybody is gonna do it, you know, I'm just saying. What kind of place is this? A place of destruction and despair. This valley was once the largest village of the Rangers of Mertana. People came from everywhere and were restored through the healing hands of our druid Porgan. What happened here? The orcs destroyed our village and stole whatever they could find. I am only one of a few who survived the massacre. Cursed be all those who wreak havoc with the plants and creatures of Adnos. 
You are at war with the orcs? We rangers are a peaceful people. We make it our task to serve the druids and protect them. But those wretched orcs came to us with the blade of war unsheathed. And now we are taking back what is rightfully ours. No more, no less. I see. Where are the orcs who did this? They retreated to the big cities of Mertana. We cannot reach them there. All that is left of them is a small orc patrol to the north. They are watching us. And even if I make 1,000, well, let's say I earn 2,000 a month. I'm gonna cut that right in half, get 1k for myself, and then reinvestigate, well, reinvestate the other 1k into the community. Either by paying people to do the timestamping for me, or creating their own channels. First, I will hire people to, you know, maintain my channel when it comes to the timestamps and what have you. Is it gonna make you rich? No. No, it doesn't. But it does will eventually bring food on the table and that is exactly what we need. We need more jobs with more security in order to be able to feed ourselves without the need to be dependent on the effing government. Because I don't like being dependent on the government, but because of the war situation where I've been scanned multiple times by the government and been kicked out of, you know, backstabbed by my family and whatnot. I had it enough and uh, I just decided to uh, do YouTube and I got the good to go. At least for now I have the good to go from the government to do this, but only because they sniff money. Because let's be honest, if I do manage to get this done, then I will earn more than any average job of 40 hours a week. Just saying, you know, it's a fact. Can you teach me your fighting style? Not before I get to know you better, stranger. How am I to know you wouldn't use your newly acquired knowledge to attack me? Am I perfect? No. Am I greedy? Yes. You know, we as a species are all greedy. Well, because you were asleep. Adonos be with you. What can I do for you, wanderer? But either way, you know, I'm able to survive and therefore I'm thankful to the government, but I still despise them because of the fact that they backstabbed me multiple times. Just saying. You know, it's not that everyone in the government is bad, but we all know what kind of politics and what kind of nonsense goes behind. You know, where the governments get their money and such. We all know who funds those people like George Soros, who most people even don't know that he is not a Holocaust survivor, no, he is a Nazi, but then again, who am I to judge, you know? Some people say, you know, you would have done the same if, if it were in your case, fuck no, you know? Fuck no, I'd rather die than enslave humanity, whether it's the Jews, whether it's the atheists, whether it's Muslims, no one deserves to be silenced in any way by anyone, by anything, especially the governments, you know, so all I want for mankind is to be enriched with the possibilities that we have as a species in order to boost our own economics, because in the end, we have to go into the stars, you know, we have to go to space, we have to explore the stars, we have, find, we have to find and maybe even colonize on different planets, because at some point this planet will go bye-bye, and there's nothing that we can do about it. I suppose you are in charge here. I am no ruler. My children, the rangers, are with me of their own free will, wanderer. I am a preserver of creation. We druids are guardians of the world and its nature. We draw our power from the strength of Adonos' creatures. Can you heal me? I can, wanderer. Come to my fire and I shall ease your pain. What creature is the source of your power? My druid stone possesses the power of the boar. But, alas, my stone was stolen by the orcs, Wanderer. It is more than disturbing to know that it is in the hands of these foolish creatures. Well, 
but again, you know, there is nothing in this world that can predetermine me from doing YouTube as a living. Even if I have to go to work for 40 hours a week, I will still do YouTube for 40 to 80 hours a week because in the end I'm doing this so I can live my life the way I want to live, not in a big villa. Not with lots of necklaces and rings of gold, you know, fuck that shit. All I want is to be able to eat, to drink, to clothe and to provide myself with a roof above my fucking head. Nothing more, nothing less. And the more I earn, the more I'm gonna reinvest into the gaming community. And I know it's an easy thing to say that and it's another thing, you know, to actually do it. But trust me, give me the chance and I will prove that I am speaking the truth. Because in the end, we need this. We need YouTube, we need Twitch, we need the internet in order to generate money, in order to uh, generate economic booms. One second. It's gonna take a bit of time, but uh, I'll be back in like five minutes, so. Is it easier said than done? Of course it is, you know, don't get me wrong. But uh, I'm, I'm honest to you about it. Yes, I want to earn money out of this. Yes, I want to be able to live my life, but I also want mankind to be able to live their lives to the fullest. And there is never enough jobs that mankind can have in order to increase our wealth, you know. Do I want to be as big as PewDiePie? No. You know, it's a bit too much. I don't want to earn 6 to 8 million a year. Fuck that shit. And if I do, well, then I will reinvest at least 4 million a year into, you know, into the gaming community in itself by hiring people. Because in the end, that's what I'm gonna do. Let's rough up that orc patrol. There's nothing I would rather do, but I don't know whether we are strong enough. Don't fret. We can do it. All right. You it seem to know what you're matter. talking about. I am ready. Follow me. For Porgon. <laughs> For Balion. Because the thing is, you know, we are richer than we think that we are. It's only that the mere few, like Bezos and uh, George Soros and all these guys, you know, Elon Musk and etc. They're only a few. A few, what, 10% of mankind have enough wealth to live the life that they want to live. I... Oh, 
there. So much for you, filthy beast. Filthy beast, indeed. Well, you know, I'm not gonna try to promote myself by saying it because um, I will show you that I meant mean it, you know and only time will tell whether I will get the chance to do so or not because if I do then I'm gonna enrich mankind as much as I can Stop right there, Mora. And of course, the other one gets to me as well. Oh, what a surprise! How many times will I have to heal, eh? Good job. Now get this sorry ass off me. Good. You're very good. You're the best, man. I need loot here, no? Well, that's a shame. But only time will tell, you know, whether I get the opportunity or not, because I'm deadly serious. Orcs are creatures of Adnos, just like you and me. We should respect each other, not fight. The Orc Patrol is history. Thanks for your help, stranger. Here, I want you to take this with you. May the light of Adnos lighten every path that you walk. We could also train a little more if you want. Perhaps later. Well, thanks anyway. Those potions will come in quite handy. Alright, so let's... uh. How many stone roots do I have? Mm, 26. You need about 20. So uh, I got more than enough. So let's quickly go to... Uh, what was that? These damn beasts are everywhere.
showed him one filthy beast less. Still don't get it, you know, why it's still lagging. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. I, I, I don't think there's anything you can actually do in order to make it lag free. Don't kill it, please, because I want exp it's exposed. You showed him. No one will miss you. All right, so let's talk with the druid Porgan. Because you were asleep, sir. Heal my wounds. Light of Adonis, illuminate this body. If no healing, you know, heal others is an enormous magic. Well, you know, whatever. I found your druid stone. Thank you, Wanderer. But I see that it is pale and powerless. If it is to regain its old strength, I shall have to recharge it. Can you recharge the druid stone? I can. But I am lacking ingredients for the procedure of renewal. You have returned the stone to me, Wanderer. If you help me to recharge it, I will share my power with you. All right. I will help you in your search for the ingredients for your druid stone. Very well. I need 20 stone roots. They grow exclusively in very damp places. You will only find them near riverbeds. Good luck. Here, your stone roots. Good work, Wanderer. Now I can recharge the Druid Stone. For the service you have done me, I will share my power with you. Take my Druid Stone and keep it better than I could. Now, even though I'm not really a servant of Enos, or a servant of Adonis, I still get them. They're just for fun. You know, as far as completing the quest, making the connections, because even though that this guy serves Baliar, he will always serve the Water Mages. Yes, he has to kill them at some point, you know, but he will still make use of their alliances, if you will, um, in order to get myself a Ranger's outfit um, for a certain amount of screenshots, you know, you can already see the thumbnails of my Adenos and my Enos playthrough, this one will have <laughs> basically the same <laughs> but uh a bit differently when it comes to the armor sets you know but anyways guys thank you guys for watching and uh if you like what you see uh, please subscribe to my channel i need all the support that i can get and uh if you like what you see smash that like button if you want to see a gothic series hardcore run because if, you, if it gets 100 likes, whether it's Gothic 1, Gothic 2, Gothic 3, Gothic 3 Forsaken Gods, Gothic 4, Gothic 4, Fall of Satarif, uh, divided by the three playthroughs, you know, if any of those get 100, in total 100 likes, um, which is, let's say, a 34, a 34, uh, a 34, 33, 33, which is in total uh, 100. If that is the case, then a hardcore run has been unlocked, and as soon as I can live stream, I will, you know, live stream the hardcore run. I will make sure to upload a video beforehand for those on my YouTube channel, 
um, to make sure that people from my YouTube channel might also drop by on my Twitch. But uh, in the hardcore run, I will beat the game without deaths as full build as I possibly can. <coughs> because certain spells like Army of Darkness requires you to uh, deliver the artifact of Ar Adonis to the Shrine of Balear. Fire Rain and High Enos Magic will only be gainable if you deliver the artifacts to, you know, to to the statuettes of Enos and Nordmar. But uh, in the end, I will try to get full build in my hardcore run. Of course, it will be live streamed, no deaths whatsoever, no healing within combat, and um, it's going to be interesting to say the least. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you like what you see subscribe to my channel and if you do subscribe hit the notification bell if you want to be notified on every video that i upload if you don't want to be notified and check on regular basis then you know you don't really have to turn the notification bell on because at the moment i upload three videos a day and could make you crazy at some point you know when it comes to the annoyance of the pop-ups um not everybody will agree with that but some people will find it annoying that I upload more videos a day. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. And I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Where we're gonna go to Montero. And uh, start the questing there. All the quests except the arena once more. So thank you guys for watching. And uh, I hope to see you guys in the next episode. So See you guys in the next episode. And otherwise in other uh, my other videos playthroughs games if i have games well if i don't have games that you want to see make sure to leave them in the comment section of any of my youtube videos and i'll make sure to eventually either purchase them and record them or record them if i already own them thank you guys once again for watching and i hope to see you guys next time